how we're used to being able to interact with people on a daily basis, talk, conversation, stuff like that, you know. It's a shock to the system of many local workers. Business as they know it changing significantly as Iowa's governor puts an end to gatherings of people in groups larger than 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Tim Seaman. It's like a scene out of a sci-fi thriller as the governor declares a public health disaster emergency. Businesses find themselves in a nail biter. The goal is to prevent the spread of COVID-19 here in Iowa, but it will likely have far reaching impacts and that is our top story tonight at six o'clock. Governor Reynolds with a proclamation ordering a wide variety of businesses to close from fitness centers to casinos, theaters and restaurants and bars. Other businesses meanwhile closing voluntarily. In announcing that closure today, the governor also providing additional funding for Medicaid and other health programs to help Iowans combat COVID-19. Iowa lawmakers have granted and extended powers to the governor in order to soften the blow of the health and economic crisis. What we're doing today, we believe, gives the governor um, authority to act within um, waiving different rules, regulations, certain statutes as needed when we're not here, and also granting her the transfer authority and the extra money for economic emergency, we believe um, will help in the short term. It's important to us. The governor calling these unprecedented times. 